I've seen the bear being brought out right now. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, Andy, can we talk to you in about 30 sure. seconds? Yeah, good morning, Hulisa. Um, the bear has been tranquilized, and I've got Andy Fell with UC Davis. And uh, walk me through this. There was a tweet that was sent out earlier, wasn't there? There was a text message, a warming text message was sent out earlier, alerting people to the fact that the bear was on a tree on campus, yes. And do we know where this bear came from? It's, it seems a little far from home. It does. Uh, we don't know. We know there were bears reported in the Dixon area yesterday. Uh, so maybe it came up the creek from there. Okay, and then the bear was wandering around campus, got up one tree, and from what I understand, was tranquilized. Yeah, the bear has... Here, why don't we walk back a little bit? We're being asked to move back just a little bit here. Go ahead, we're still on it. So the bear was reported at about quarter to six this morning in a parking lot on campus. Uh -huh. uh, it was seen running up a tree. Uh, UC Davis police had responded to the scene. Fishing game came out here as well. Uh, the bear was up in a tree, uh, they tried to coax it down, it came down a bit, they tranquilized it, it ran, then climbed up another tree, uh, tranquilizer took effect and it came down. Okay. When you ha have you had a situation like this before on campus with a bear? Not to my knowledge, we've never had a bear on campus before. And how did the alert, uh, or the alert rather, did that seem to work well? Because I noticed coming in here, everybody seems to be indoors right now looking out the window, which is sort of what you wanted. You didn't want a lot of people out here sort of gawking. We don't want people to come out and get in the way, especially when there's an animal that could get loose, might be scared, might get hurt. Yeah, all right, thanks very much. That's Sandy Fell with um, UC Davis. And again, uh, the bear has been tranquilized. We've got the game warden. We've got uh, fire out here as well. Looks like they have uh, wrap something around the bear's uh, mouth and perhaps paws. They're going to be getting ready to transport him. We don't know exactly to where, but we'll uh, we'll find out in just a few minutes. But right now, we don't want to bother them because you can see they just want to make sure the bear is safe and everybody else is safe and just get them get them out of this area as fast as they can. Yeah.
Dennis, you 